On Sunday, the 2nd of September in the year 1666, a small fire started and quickly spread. This fire became known as the Great Fire of London. It hadn't rained in London for a long time, so the buildings in the city were very dry. On a street called Puddin Lane were many houses, as well as a baker shop. This baker shop is where the fire began and buildings at the time were made from wood and straw. The fire quickly spread through the city. As people ran to escape the rapidly spreading fire, one man recorded the events that he saw in his diary. This man's name was Samuel Pepys. At that time, being a firefighter was not a job that people had. There were no fire engines, so the fire burned for almost four days, while people used buckets of water to try and put out the flames and long hooks to pull down buildings before the fire could reach them. By Monday morning, people were loading their belongings onto boats to get them safely across the River Thames out of the way of the flames. By Monday evening, the fire had spread so far that it almost reached the Tower of London. On Tuesday, St Paul's Cathedral burnt to the ground. By Wednesday, the strong winds that were helping the fire spread so quickly began to die down and the fire slowed and began to burn out. By the time the fire was out, over 70,000 people had been made homeless. London was of course rebuilt, but it took 50 years to rebuild what had been destroyed in only four days. It was decided that all new buildings in the city had to be built from brick to reduce the fire risks. To remember the tragedy, Sir Christopher Wren designed and erected the Great Fire of London Monument, which still stands today.